Good morning, everyone. Please join me now in praying morning prayer. And of course, you can go to stjoeshelby.org and click on the morning prayer link or the iBrevery link on the right hand side. Uh, perhaps you also have the, uh, the app on your phone or even, or even the book itself. O oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise to the Lord Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is thy health and salvation. All ye who hear, now to his altar draw near. Joining in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord who doth prosper thy work and defend thee. Surely his goodness and mercy shall daily attend thee. Ponder anew. What the Almighty can do, who with his love will befriend thee. Praise to the Lord, O Lord, all that is in me, adore him. All that has life and breath come now in praises before him. All the let the Amen sound from his people again, now as we worship before him. In the day of my distress, I reached out with my hands to seek the Lord's help. I cry aloud to God, Cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered in my spirit question. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy or in anger withhold his compassion? I said this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great is our God. You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The skies sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you established your ancient covenant by signs and wonders, but more wondrously you confirmed the new one through the sacrifice of your Son. Guide your church through the pathways of life, 
that we may be led to the land of promise and celebrate you with lasting praise. In the day of my distress, I reached out with my hands to seek the Lord's help. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. My heart exults in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no Holy One like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, the God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be scattered. The, Lord, the Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the deeds of the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. God has made Christ Jesus our wisdom and our holiness. By him we have been sanctified and redeemed. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice, and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The light, or the earth, trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed. Those who boast of their worthless gods, all you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of the saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, the joy for the upright, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you clothe the sky with light, and the depths of the ocean with darkness. Among the sons of men you work wonders, and rain terror upon the enemy. Look upon your servants. Do not try us by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home. God has made Christ Jesus our wisdom and our holiness. By him we have been sanctified and redeemed. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Lord, God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned my back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from the buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame.
Our reading today from the prophet Isaiah is the um, is one place in Scripture that points to the Lord Jesus, who does not turn his back on, first of all, God the Father, and who does not turn his back on you and me, humanity, the sons and daughters of the Most High. Jesus does not turn his back on us, and Jesus does not turn his back on the Heavenly Father. Um, Today, of course, in Holy Week, we keep that in our minds because we remember today the one who did turn his back on the Lord, and that is Judas. Wednesday of Holy Week is a day for us to remember what Judas did. It is a day for us to remember that act when Judas sold his God for pocket change. You know uh, that the word, the, the title of Wednesday in Holy Week is Spy Wednesday. And it is because on that first Wednesday of Holy Week, the Wednesday of the first Holy Week, um, was when Judas spied. He began to look, that is to say, for a way to hand Jesus over and profit by the sale. As Pope Francis said in his homily this morning, we cannot uh, mince words here that Judas sold Jesus and um, thus began Pope Francis talked about this morning and his sermon in Rome about um, how we as humans continue uh, oftentimes what Judas began and there is so many uh, examples from our own history um, as the as the United States of course even with the uh, African slave trade and things along those lines where we have sold people and of course trafficking continues today in many different ways and so we certainly pray today in a special way for an end to all of that um, and we do. We think about that moment when Judas spied for a way, looked for a way to hand Jesus over. Um, it's an interesting thing. You know the, the famous painting by da Vinci of the Last Supper. And, and the Last Supper painting really kind of hits on this very exact moment in our gospel today at Holy Mass around the world. When for, that is uh, recounting for us from Matthew chapter twenty, pray me. And they continue on, but this that that last uh, supper painting by Da Vinci captures this very moment when Jesus asks, uh, Jesus tells them like one of you is going to betray me, and then one by one they say, No, it is not I. Surely it is not I, Lord. Surely it is not I. But you know, Judas says something different. All of the disciples, according to the scripture here, say, Surely it is not I, Lord. But when it comes to Judas, Judas says, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. It's an interesting thing, huh? It's almost as though Judas didn't realize Judas didn't seem to know who he had before him. The other disciples got it. They weren't perfect either, of course, by the way. But at least they realized, they say, Surely it is not I, Lord, each and every one of them, until Judas. Surely it is not I, Rabbi. Judas did not know who he had before him. And I think oftentimes that is where our sin can begin. Our sin can begin, our own little betrayals. There is a little Judas in all of us. Hmm? Sometimes there's a lot of Judas in all of us. Um, but it begins, these compromises, these infidelities, the lukewarmness, the deceit, the greed, 
all of those types of things, it's all in Judas. And, and there is that sometimes in us. And, and we're just like Judas, we're, we're faced oftentimes with this decision, right? Like 30 pieces of silver over here or Jesus. Which will it be? And in our wretchedness, in our brokenness, in our sinfulness, sometimes we go with the 30 pieces of silver, whatever that is for you, whatever that is for me. It, 30 pieces of silver is whatever we believe is more important for us at this moment than Jesus. And, and we all have that brokenness, unfortunately. And we try to work it out. We try to root it out. Uh, but I wonder, I wonder if the reason that we will pick the 30 pieces of silver instead of Jesus each and every time boils down to because we forget who we have before us. Just like Judas at this moment of the Last Supper seems to forget who he has before him. Judas is the one in the painting where his elbow is knocking down the salt. Uh, there is a dish of salt, which was really quite a, a luxury in those days. It was not as easy to come by uh, as it is now, which is um, one reason, by the way, as well, that it's all the more meaningful when Jesus says that we are supposed to be the salt of the earth. Well, salt was not uh, you couldn't buy a whole bunch of it for cheap like we, we can nowadays, right? It was used to preserve food. It was used for all these things. And it was, it was a precious commodity. And here Judas is knocking it over a dish. Um, it's seen as uh, uh, the wastefulness of Judas, the uh, greed of Judas, um, the recklessness of Judas and um, friends I think today we look to the example of Jesus in our in our reading from morning prayer from Isaiah who does not turn his back on God who does not turn his back on his brothers and sisters and um, Judas did. Jesus didn't. Pope Francis a few days ago said that a lot of times when we fall into sin, in other words, when we do turn our back on the Lord, when we turn our back on each other, um, it usually starts very, very gradually. He said, the, the, this is about four days ago in his homily, he said, the, the devil is very cunning and he usually works at us very gradually. In other words, we might start with a little, little compromise and then it grows into something bigger and then bigger and then bigger and before you know it, you can't stop it. I often use the image with our high schoolers and youth about a snowball, you know, um, especially when uh, they confess to certain, certain particular sins. Um, Drugs, for example, alcohol, um, those type of things, pornography, and I and I use that example of the this little snowball it starts real small, a small little compromise like Judas made, but it keeps going down the down the hill and it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger. Before you know it, the thing is destroying more than you could ever possibly imagine, and it's uncontrollable. And that's what happened with Judas. It started with something very small, a small turning of the back on Jesus, looking, spying for just a little way. Is there a way? And then that deadly question that he issues to the chief priest, what would you give me if I hand Jesus over to you? And they settle on 30 pieces of silver Friends, today, may we never pick 30 pieces of silver or all the silver in the world 
above our Jesus. May we not turn our back on him. May we not turn our back on each other. And may we continue to follow the example always of our Christ, spying for ways, looking for ways to do his will, to love him, to serve him. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you brought us back to God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. Through the eternal Spirit, Christ offered himself to God as the perfect sacrifice. His blood purifies us from sin and makes us fit servants of the living God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the, excuse me, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through the eternal Spirit, Christ offered himself to God as the perfect sacrifice. His blood purifies us from sin and makes us fit servants of the living God. Let us pray to Christ our Savior who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer, and so enter into your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. Lord, have mercy on us. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal our wounds. Lord, have mercy on us. You made the cross the tree of life. Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism. Lord, have mercy on us. On the cross you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. For an end to the coronavirus, for a quick cure that will be widely accessible to everyone in the world, Pray for the scientists working towards that. Pray for doctors, nurses, all medical professionals working on the front lines, all who are taking care of the spiritual needs as well of those families affected. Pray for those who are unemployed. Pray for those suffering in any way that God might grant relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on us for an end to all human trafficking, especially that of children, but all of it. We pray that human beings will not sell one another, knowing that we are all precious in the eyes of the Lord, each and every one made in his image and likeness. We pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy on us. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, in your plan of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, accepted the cross and freed us from the power of the enemy. May we come to share the glory of his resurrection, for he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.